going on my fellow nerds abrasive otter here with a short sweet and to the point macro function guide now i own razor hardware all right i do not own logitech or corsair so if you own one of those i don't necessarily know exactly how to do it but i'm pretty sure it kind of follows the same guidelines so you can kind of use this as a stepping stone all right now if you have razor hardware what you're going to do is you're going to go to the razor site and you're going to download razor synapse 2.0 that's what you're going to use all right so we'll go down here and we're going to open up our razor synapse all right now, the first thing we're gonna do is it'll open up right here. We're gonna go to macros and we're going to add this little plus symbol. Click that and we're gonna rename it and we'll say it's devour, all right? Next, we're gonna click record and we're gonna say it's one. Done, stop it, all right? Go to the delay, click the trash can right here to delete that, then go to insert, click delay after, and then set it to 0.5 seconds and we're going to insert that. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna press one, it's gonna press it, then it's gonna release it, that's what the up and down arrows are for, and then it's gonna have a 0.5 second delay. So then we're gonna to go to keyboard, all right? Now, we don't wanna necessarily use one, two, three, or four, because those are keys that we will use for other builds, and we don't really wanna use any letters because we're gonna be typing to friends, and you'll be surprised how much you use Q, or W, E, or R, or whatever the case. So we're gonna choose some arbitrary ones. So I'm gonna use seven on my numpad, all right? And we're gonna click that, we're gonna go down to macro. There's a lot of different things you can do, but go to macro. We're gonna click right here and we're gonna click devour. That's the assigned macro that we've made. And we're gonna go down to toggle continuous playback on slash off using assigned key. And then we're gonna save it, all right? Then what we're gonna do is I'll show you. You go right here and if we click seven on the numpad, it's just going to repeat one over and over and over again for every half a second until we turn it off at the end of a rift or grift or whatever press it and it turns off, that's it, done, all right? And this is what you need in order to play a Z Necro especially. It's really helpful with Roth and Necros as well to keep your stage shaded up. And that's really the guide, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm a race of Otter, and as always, take it easy.